Okay, I've added uh, basically our very simple autopilot circuit uh, to my printers. And you could add this to any printer that has uh, that doesn't 100% shut off once it's done printing and the uh, hot end is totally cooled down. As you know, you never want to turn your printer off until your hot end is cooled down, otherwise you end up getting a jam in the filament tube. But uh, basically, it's super, super simple. If you're comfortable at all wiring mains, if you're not, then don't attempt it. Find a friend or someone who is. But uh, I'm just taking, if we can see this, this is just a solid state switch. Basically, there's a, an optically isolated LED here that gets activated. You put voltage on it, lights it up, and then that turns on the triac or SCR output or whatever type of configuration they want to use inside. <clears throat> um, and you're going to just take the AC side of it and you're just going to bridge across the two wires on your power switch. So just like when I hit the switch there to turn it on, if this was hooked in there and you put power on there, this would turn it on. And what you want to do is on the side, the LED side, the activation side, you connect that to whatever voltage is feeding your fans. These solid state switches are, uh, have a wide range. Anything from 3 volts up to like 32 volts will activate them. And there's a little LED that tells you when, when it is activated and on. So basically what happens is, let's go into preheat mode and we'll kind of get a demo. I'm going to shut preheat down as soon as it basically starts so we don't have to wait too long for it to cool so you can get the idea. But, okay, we'll start preheat. Uh, on a Dreamer, as soon as it gets anywhere above 50 uh, degrees centigrade, then these two cooling fans kick in. In my case, too, I wire them both to come on at the same time to keep things cooler. 28, 29, 30, 32, it's creeping up. As soon as they kick on, I'm going to turn preheat off so it doesn't take forever for it to cool back down for the demonstration. But the point is, uh, you turn the machine on like normal, leave the switch on, there are the cooling fans running, let's stop preheat. It's basically cooling down now, but because those fans are running, I can turn the power switch off. The only thing that's keeping the machine running now is the fact that the fan voltage has activated this solid state relay, which just bridges across the two wires on the on off switch. So as soon as those fans are told to turn off, as soon as the hot end is cooled down, then the whole machine will actually turn off instead of, I don't know if all printers are this way, but in the case of Dreamers, you've got LED lights, which in this case I had unplugged so the camera wouldn't be swamped by the bright light and you've got fans running and you got fans in your switching power supply you got fans that blow across the uh, stepper motor drivers noisy and bright could be running all night and then basically it shuts down after everything is cool and ready to go now if you don't want to add anything inside your printer I also built up an external one basically I just took a power strip put the, uh, the solid state switching block on this end, by the way, they're dirt cheap on eBay, a few bucks, and did the same thing. The AC side of the solid state switch simply bridges across the uh, the power, and the other side I just brought out on the cable. <clears throat> in this case, I just used a quarter inch jack because that's what I had lying around in the junk box. Put that on the machine and just brought the fan voltage down to there. So anytime the fans are on, they'll switch on the solid state switch which keeps the Weber strip active. If you had a whole bunch of printers, you could control them all from one device as long as the printer that's controlling that device had the longest print time because you don't want it to shut off last. But this case, I just leave my switch on my printer on. You can see there it just shut off, cooled down. So if the printer was done, you could, wouldn't have to worry about it running all night or making that noise all night or, or the lights. So in this case, you use the Weber strip or power strip and it turns everything on. Go into preheat mode. Come on. See, on most machines you'd have these 
all these lights and everything on all night. The fans running, the lights running, the switching power supplies running. It's noisy, it's bright. You, maybe real close to the end of the print and you got you just gotta go, you gotta go do something and yet you don't want everything sitting there running until the next day. This is perfect. Fans just kicked on. As soon as the fans are running, now I turn this power strip off. The only thing that's keeping it running is the fact that the fan voltage has told the solid state switch to conduct. It's across that switch, so power continues to flow, and power will continue to flow. I should have turned this off sooner, that'll take forever. Uh, will continue to flow until that cools down. So, uh, if you don't want to use a solid state switch, you can use an old school mechanical switch. In the case of a Dreamer, these are 24 volt fans, so you would get a relay with a a 24 volt coil. Um, a lot of your printers are 12 volts, so you might need a relay with a 12 volt coil. But I prefer the solid state switches for a lot of reasons. One, there's no contacts to wear out or arc, <clears throat> and the control voltage being so wide, 3 to 32 volts, and the fact that it's only a couple of milliamps. The machine doesn't even know it's driving this thing. The load is so small. Whereas a mechanical relay, the load could in fact be quite long. And I don't know that it's necessary to try to draw any of this out. I mean, it's just so simplistic, but just in case any of you are having trouble following this, coming in your machines, let's say that's your plug. You have a hot, you have your neutral, you have ground. These all go to your into your machine or whatever. There's going to be a switch on the hot side somewhere. The neutral and the ground, all that crap. Go right into the switching power supply. The power supply goes to your control board. And your control board runs the fan. You have a plus and a minus. All you're going to do is take the two wires going to that switch. That one and that one. Just like if you were adding another switch. <clears throat> and put your solid state relay or normal relay there so it could in fact turn it on but then to turn this on you just take that fan minus move it to the minus fan plus move it to the plus you're good to go here's your auto autopilot shuts everything down when the print is done but won't turn it off until everything is cooled down